Oh god, why is it so zoomed in? Oh my god. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Take motherfucking three. <laughs> welcome or welcome back. I'm Greg. Nope. I'm Riley Jefferson. And I'm Greg Hefley. And happy Halloween. That's all we have this to say. is Halloween episode. This is the third time we've tried to record this because Michaelers, Michael, Michael's acting up as Michael's tend to do. So, um, I think we win couples costume. <laughs> oh no, we're cute as friends. Like that's how oh, yeah. in the yearbook. Yeah. Yes, this is true. Any hoozy? Sorry about last week. I was on my deathbed. I fear. Yeah, this was annoying. Um. And I told her I was like, okay, if you if you if we if we ain't gonna do it, then you have to tell them the constituents. So then, I which is that. I think what we should call the fan base is the <laughs> day three pod constituents. Do we have a constitution? Isn't that what they are? Uh, like a constituent? If they follow the constitution, I mean, I get. I think they have the same like root word. Yeah. But I think that you can say constituent, because you can say the constituents of a church, and there's not a constitution, there's, like, a Bible. That's real. But, like, also, I'm so fucking hot. <sighs> yeah, sorry, girl. It's okay. It's fine. Sorry, also, this cast is not, gonna, is not going to last the whole time. I don't, I don't blame you. So. That sounds annoying. It's yeah. made out of paper towels, actually. Yeah, and Joshy signed it, by the way, so. Y'all can peep that. I don't yeah, even know if they can we see have that Joshy, Manny, Roderick. Yeah, where's Manny? <laughs> Fregly. <laughs> Fregly is crazy. Nick is so Fregly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but today on the podcast, Aaliyah had a beautiful idea to do who's most likely to. And I will say that we are super on brand for Halloween because we just got back from a horror movie. We saw We Live in Time. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to say a terrifier, huh? No. Uh-uh. Or Smile 2 or... Smile 2? No. We Live in Time featuring Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh. Real. Horror movie. Real and true. <laughs> Horror movie. It was. It was terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> my favorite part? No. It was when they... I was scared for yeah. my life. Yeah. Because I thought I was going to cry out all my tears and die of dehydration. And that's valid. So. And that's real. That's your own true. Follow our letterbox. Follow my eyes out. Um, for our reviews. I think my letterbox. Mine is Super Duper Kelly. If y'all want to hop on that. Mine is. I think it's just Aaliyah Centers, actually. Yeah. So if y'all want to hop on that. Period. Hop on mine. I gave it a five star review, actually. I did 4.5 out of five. Only for the fact that. It wasn't that long. Yeah. I kind of wish it was When longer. you told me that it was 90 minutes or whatever, I was like, when, I was like, where's the end? I was like, I feel like it's been an hour and a half already. And like, yeah, I was like really concerned that we were approaching the end and I wasn't going to cry yet. Yeah. Like yeah. And I hadn't cried yet. Well, that's the kicker. You do it at the end. <laughs> um, so yeah. Well, and about Great time, movie. and about time, you cry in like the middle of it, near the end. Yeah. But it's not the actual end. Well, because that movie's like two hours. Yeah. So you cry, like, after the first, like, hour-ish. Hour and a half, maybe-ish. Ish. And then it's, like, 30 minutes of, like, okay. Yeah, but great movie. Great movie. It was a horror movie, though. Both of those are horror movies, I'd say. <laughs> About Time is my one of my favorite horror movies. Um, La La Land, 500 Days of Summer. Um, my, one of my professors... Now We Live in Time. ...asked um, yesterday if what our favorite Halloween movie was. And I don't really, like, I don't have, like, a Halloween movie tradition. I don't either. But if I had a pick, I'd pick Twitches. Twitches and Twitches 2? The DCOM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These channel original movie yeah. for y'all at home. Um. Yeah, she was like, I don't know what that is, actually. I was like. Okay, so she's racist, is what I'm hearing. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> she's biracial. What? Oh, my God, my hair's Just like out. the Twitches. Real. That's so real and true. But I was like, it's so good. I cannot get over your your loan. Stop. Can I fix it? Will you hold this? Hold, yeah. Hold it away. I'm fixing my hair. Lay on the horn. Oh, yeah. We were like, you have to talk about the movie. Are you going to talk into the microphone? 
They can hear me, probably. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we were going to talk about the movie. Just We didn't want to be spoiler alert, so. Just, but we can be, but we won't. But we won't. But we could, but we won't. I ain't gonna. I will say Andrew Garfield does get naked multiple times. And so does she. Yeah, but there's no, you see Florence Pugh. And it's also like, they, they're just so hot. Both of them, Both for sure. Both of them. Both. Both. B, capital B, capital O, capital A, capital F. Both. 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 Um, but yeah, we thought we'd talk about that. And in the past, what's it called? A few weeks. We haven't been up to much. Um, have not been doing much. I've been working away at school. I am on a now a newfound, even though I've always loved this man. I'm on Alfred Molina binge watch kick. I watched Spider Man 2 the other night. I watched Before and After. It has Liam Neeson and Meryl Streep. And then I watched Murder on the Orient Express TV movie 2001. Two of those movies sucked ass. But I watched it because Alfred Molina was one of the main people in them, so. Um, Ali ain't really watch movies like that because she busy bee. Yeah, I'm busy. Bella, busy bee. Bella. <laughs> oh, speaking of, we got. <gasps> I forgot about him. Get him. I have to cut out my part because I look so fucking freak. Right. <laughs> I don't know what the time was there. It's okay. This man. <laughs> Ready? And he walks around. It's like, Kevin. For y'all of you that don't know. He'll like walk around. He's trying to move on my... <laughs> Papi Halloween! Yeah, he really sets the vibes. I love this man. I love him. He's so sweet. He's so cute. I'm just going to hold I him. I did have him over there, but then he kept falling, so I put him on well, I'm just going to hold him, I think. Okay. Minion x Diary of Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Minion. Yes. Can y'all see him good? Can y'all see my baby? My baby, Kevin. My baby, Kevin. <laughs> Okay, I asked. Okay, we're using, we're utilizing our resources and using ChatGPT again. Chat BLT. Um, and I said, give me some examples Chat of who's mo- who's most likely to. And then they were kind of stupid, so I looked up "juicy please." That's what I told it. Okay, <laughs> and it said, "Of course, here's some juicier who's more likely to prompts for a bit of fun." And then it says for friends, and then it says for work, spicy but safe in parentheses <laughs> for lovers. What about that? And then for families, with a twist. So no for lovers? None for lovers. Okay, well, they don't even know us then. Okay. I feel like TikTok is convinced that we're lesbian lovers. Who said that? Said <laughs> our fucking TikToks of us in bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. We're not, y'all. <laughs> okay. You have to deny the allegations. Oh, yeah, we're not. <laughs> That's what we would say if we weren't. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Who's most likely to get lost even with GPS? <laughs> Me. You. <laughs> that is right, Kelly, on the head. That's me. Also, y'all, I'm. if I seem, like, freaky, is because I haven't had hair on my forehead since I was, like, 17 years old. <laughs> And this, like, hair is, like, in my fuck. It's just, like, because there's, like, some long ones that are, like, touching me. And I'm, like, fucking A. Like, I just can't. So, <laughs> thought I'd update y'all. Um, so, Kevin, I love you, but I'll be seeing that. <laughs> oh, bye, King. <laughs> um, who's most likely to have a, an, embar- an embarrassing story about everyone? You, I feel like. <laughs> Because you, you remember more people than I do. Yeah, I guess Because you're like, true. do you know blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, you're like, no, she was the one who did it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because I didn't really hang out with people. Like, if we're talking about people from, like, our um, school, our, like, high school and stuff, like, you'd mm-hmm. know more. Because I didn't really, like, give a fuck. But, like, 
Um, <laughs> I feel like I know more in-depth stories, but I feel like you know more <laughs> stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yep. <laughs> Got her there. Okay, this is me, so I'm not even going to read it. Um, read it. What is that? It says, who's most likely to fall for someone they just met? <laughs> the guys that I date. <laughs> That's actually the answer to that question. Real and true. Except for the ones that I actually like, and then it's like. Who's most likely to start drama on a night out? Probably you. <laughs> out of the two of us, probably you. Because like you drink and I other, don't. Or just in general? But, like, what would we start drama about? I, I feel like we'd, like, fake beef and people would think. No, that'd be so funny. We should do that at the party. Like, be, like, super fucking mad at each <laughs> other. And then, and then like, we we walk. We don't walk in to get, like, I will, I'll have, like, five minutes after you do. <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh, my God. And then we're, like, on separate corners and of the then party we're, like, talking to people at the party and like i can't see Aunt kelly like they're like actually if you see if bite. you see Aaliyah, like tell her like i can't like if she comes like i'm literally leaving like i can't like i'm not even playing i don't want to be around her so like actually i'm just, I'm, I'm like, just actually letting actually you know sleep. now just sleep because like <laughs> okay this one is for work category oh who's most likely to have a crush on someone in the office me. <laughs> that is so Me. really true. That is Been so Been there, really done true. that multiple times. Um, Been there, done that a couple of times. A feet time, ran it back. What was that one thing when it was like, I'm going to do the wrap around. That's fucking stupid ass shit oh, on yeah. TikTok. It was like, no one cares. Do the wrap around. Um, My hair's so secure right now. Mine's not. I feel like my <laughs> face is so locked. red. It just flopped. I, off I the cannot side. see that at all. I just watched it fall. My hair? Yeah, girl. On oh. the your right side, in the, very, in the back, kind of. Mm. Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> Had it like. Okay. I do not recommend having crushes on your coworkers slash manager no, that's slash real. bosses slash. That's real, and like whoever the hell. It really does people. impact productivity. Yup, I was busting my fucking ass. I would tell you what. <laughs> well, for you it increased, but it for other people it like makes a problem, right? Well, there'd be sometimes where we weren't doing jack shit because we were just talking, but it was yeah. like we, I usually hold ass. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's most likely to have a secret side hustle? <laughs> probably you and your slut ass with your only fans so <laughs> <laughs> yeah drop that in the description below drop that da, da, da. <laughs> actually oh is it don't drop that da, da, da. <laughs> don't drop that you're at me or drop that da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> See, side was- hustle bro who's having a fucking side know. hustle what are we know. a millennial like bro? doordash or instacart does that count i guess then- i'm not doing that not anymore. That was your shit. She got me on it. I did like three orders in total. I need that cash. She needed that coin. coin. That, that coin. Okay. Who's more? Li- who's more likely to show embarrassing pictures of the other person to other people? You. Because I know for a fucking fact you show everyone my fucking and my pro- my contact photo <laughs> is me looking fucking disgusting. You want to show the class? I can. I mean, at this point, okay, I will. But, but this, this part, I was thinking about this, but I think it goes both ways because we both show. <laughs> I don't really have embarrassing pictures of you, like. <laughs> and the thing about it is, Kelly was being so serious in this picture too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why today I'm having like PTSD because my this hair is picture. Like this. <laughs> this picture is so. Let funny. me see it. What? I was not being serious in that. Actually, yes, I was. <laughs> and I was probably like, they're like, take your time. I'm like, eh. <laughs> your hair just flips also, out don't... again. Oh. Don't show Can my I phone show number. them? Don't show my phone number, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I don't really have embarrassing photos of you, like, 
that okay bad. you're and making like a face or you're like and you're like oh my god no <laughs> you did show them i i don't know i feel like i have we have both have very embarrassing pictures of each other i have that one picture of carrie that i <laughs> yeah. i oh my god that picture is so funny she literally looks minecraft <laughs> the, yeah the robot <laughs> shit yeah okay who's most like shout out carrie love you girl i wish i could can i do my heart yeah kind of I can't um, even. I can't see. Who's most likely to win an argument no matter what? You. And this is you. Because, like, you, even if you're wrong, you, like, still argue. Okay. That's not even true. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I feel like we don't argue ever. No, but I just mean in general. like. And I feel like if you're arguing with other people, yeah, of course you're going to win the argument. Well, of course, because I'm fucking right. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm usually, I don't get in arguments a lot because I don't give a fuck usually. Mm-hmm. But if I'm in an argument, I hear someone say something. Usually this is how it goes. I hear someone talking, saying something, and they say, like, a statement that's totally wrong. And I'm like, no. No. And they're like, mm, yeah. And I'm like, I actually don't think that's true. And then they're like, what do you mean? And then I'm like, well, this, this, this. this. And I'm just explaining it to them, really. And then they're like, well, uh, and I'm like. Okay, well, you can be fucking stupid, or you can be right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to explain to you, girl, but whatever. But, yeah, but me and Aaliyah are you all the time, and we fucking hate each other, so. Literally constantly in beef era. Always. It started in sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, you guys know the rundown. Um, Who's most likely to make a big life decision and not tell anyone? You. That is not true. You think it'd be me? I don't know. Actually, I don't know. You would definitely tell people. Yeah, I can't keep my mouth shut. Real? Well, the thing about it is I don't want to get my hopes up for something and then it not happen. And I don't want to, like, tell people that I, like, applied for something and then it not work out. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, sorry. It's like that, like, what MJ says is, like... MJ? Yeah, where she like she's like, if you expect disappointment, you'll never be disappointed. Yeah, but isn't the <laughs> not Michael Jackson fucking? I, I'm un- <laughs> I'm aware I'm aware that it is MJ as in Zendaya in No Way Home. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay, well, whenever you apply for things that are, I usually don't tell people. I know because so it's you. I don't want people to be like. Oh, she's gonna get it. Oh, she's gonna get it, and then me not get it, and then like disappoint everyone. Like that's the way I see it. Oh. So. Okay. Okay. This this one says for friends dramatic edition. <gasps> <laughs> He's most likely to accidentally start a love triangle. You. <laughs> me. I and actually not did that. Telling. I actually have done that. <laughs> 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 Uh, circa this summer um oops oopsie oh that's so real and true. <laughs> that Absolutely. actually happened oops. oopsie but i like the term love triangle here's why a love triangle like this mm-hmm. right so a goes to b b goes to c and c goes, c to, goes to d not both b and c go it's like a. a v yeah it's like a love vagina that's not a v though is what the thing Upside well, down. Like, uh, upside Love. down. An N. A pointed N. Oh, it's an N. No. Okay. <laughs> For um, V. V. Yeah, because you're to here. To V, because I'm... Okay. And then and they're then, there, <laughs> and they fucking hate each other. They don't like each other. But this is kind of a... I feel like one of them's a dotted line, because it's like, he barely liked me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like an acute angle. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> I have like an acute this. line segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was, like, obtuse because they didn't like each other. Right. Right. So, it was, like, I'm here, dotted line to one of them. <laughs> it's a bo- very bold line going to one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing and is, it wasn't... And then like, super far apart. It's, like, the arrows would go, like, different ways, though. It's yeah, like-, like, the one would go here, mine would go here, the dotted line would go, like, this. Yeah. And then it'd be, like, a dotted line almost going to that one. 
Not as tough. <laughs> yeah, I know. If y'all watching we'll this. Draw, we'll have to draw it later. Here, I'll just draw it. Do you have a notebook? Yeah. This has my uh, notes in it, actually. For the podcast. I'm kidding. I don't do that. Oh I'm healed. Sorry. It's perfect. It haunts me. Okay. Okay. Should I continue? Yeah, so. Don't write their names. Just write. I wasn't going to write their names. Guy number one. Guy we know who two. guy number one is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just wait. I would say it's like half dotted, half not. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> Me, like, kind of gave a fuck. But, like, no. And then they hate each other, so there's, like, nothing there. Yeah. All right, so what I went was – let me get on the floor here. Me. <laughs> okay, me at the top. Here, your mic is behind here. Oh. Me, me at the top. That's me. Guy number one who – those, if you know, you know. Um, I have full interest – well, like, half – like interest, like interest, really, and then he is like half to little to none, few and far between, if you will. Um, and then guy, guy two, um, full fucking interest, obsessed, can't get enough of me, and then I'm like, okay, like maybe not like into it, into it, but like into it, but like not, nah, but like am, you know what I mean? But he was just like, I think he was just doing it for the bit. I think that one was just doing it for the bit to piss me off. Um, and that's all I have to say about that as well. So, yeah, Kelly actually was involved. So, I actually was in a bit of a love triangle. Also, fake. Aren't broken arms fake? Uh uh. Yeah, it's fake. You just. No, it's not! (laughs) Why are you mad? I'm living on it. Okay, uh. Broken arm is the best thing that ever happened to you. Maybe you ate that. Thanks. Okay. Okay, I just thought I would, um, discuss my. Yeah, I'm glad that you should. Summer love triangle. Shared it with class. Um, ladies, what is this? Ladies, what? Sorry, my arm's broken. So, <laughs> um, I'm taking this ticket out of here. Okay. Um, who's most likely to go to someone without explanation? You. Me. That is 100. <laughs> percent I literally, the moment the vibe is off, I'm walking. Them. <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> Which I haven't had to deal with, thank God. But yeah, I can't. Back uh, in the, back in the old days, you guys, this Grubhub driver, <laughs> <laughs> his name, Booba. Like, literally a boob with an A. It was spelled B-O-U-B-A, but... And you, if you guys know the vibes over here, it's Kiki Booba. Yeah. So, when he said his name was Booba, I said, what? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, like, he's like, you're so beautiful. Do you have a boyfriend? I was like, no, like, thank you, though. And he was like, do you want one? I'm like, um, no, like, I'm kind of like, you know, just like, whatever. And then he was like, can I get your number? I'm like, probably not. Like, that probably shouldn't, like... I actually see you, but he's like, well, I'm looking for friends. I just moved here from Africa. And I was like, oh, like, okay, like, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go, but he's like, yeah, so I live here. My my brother lives in New York, and my uncle lives here, and I work for him. And I'm like, well, it seems like we're for Grubhub, so I don't <laughs> So it seems like you're a Grubhub driver. Um, And he's just like, whatever. And I'm just like, okay, well, and he's like handing me his phone like this, and he's like, just, you know. And I'm like, well, my phone number is literally on the Grubhub thing. Yeah. So if he was going to get it. He has access to it. You know what I mean? So I was just like, I'm just going to give it to him and then block him later on. So I don't have like the. Um, yeah. A Grubhub driver has asked me for my number before. Too. And I was like, sure. Because he's being so persistent. And I was just like, I just want to eat my fucking food. Like, I'm not. Yeah. And then so he's like, let me call you to make sure it works. I was like, okay. I wouldn't give you a fake number, but okay. Calls me. Add his contact as Booba. Text lead, then I block his number. So, Booba, I'm so sorry if you're watching. You think he subscribed? Maybe. Whatever attraction had to me is probably now gone. Because I'm dressed like Riley Jefferson. Maybe Landon might break up with me. Maybe. He probably doesn't want to date a boy. That's why uh, no one dated me in high school. 
probably true. Because they didn't want to date a boy. Well, they thought you were gay. What the fuck is this? Why am I always on trial here? I'm not. I know, but people thought that. They assumed that of you. Why? Did you talk to them about it? People ask me. I Literally, we've had this conversation before. People have asked me. People ask me <laughs> constantly. Like, constantly? Constantly. Every day, people ask me if you're gay. Every day? <laughs> No, like literally, they would text me when I was like going to bed. They call me in the middle of the night, <laughs> asking if your bitch ass was gay. And I was answer? like, I was like, no. And we were literally scissoring in my bed. <laughs> Why would you say we were scissoring in your bed? <laughs> no, and you would literally come over and like, no, for real. But like, why would you tell people about our personal life? <laughs> they totally like. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> well, people ask me if you ran through. I said I've been there a few times. So <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'm one that started it. That confirmed yeah, both fucking. Me. That confirmed both fucking rumors. Both. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, who's most likely to flirt to get out of trouble? <laughs> <laughs> to flirt? Um, probably you because you're a slut. Your hair is literally out of your mouth. <laughs> Give me another Bobby. Another Bobber. <laughs> Give me another Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> what? Bobby. <laughs> My grandpa's name was Bobby. Oh, okay. So that's that's the person I thought of initially. What about Bob's Bob Dion? What do you know about Bob Duncan? <laughs> um What did Amy Duncan say? What was her catchphrase? Yeah. Was that what it was? Yeah. Remember the episode with the double whammy? <laughs> when Teddy was the fucking mascot? Oh, yes. Because they were the Rams. <gasps> Rammy whammy. Sorry, go. Okay, but, um. Probably. Probably me. Probably Peck. Probably Peck. It's probably me, to be honest. I can't flirt, is the thing. Yeah, how, okay. How Actually, would, I low kind of can, but, how like. Would you, how do you flirt with people? Don't put me on plot. On the, on the okay, plot. Why? Don't. Usually, it's not with like. I'm random not asking people. for an example. I'm just like. It's usually not like. What are your methods? It's usually just like joking, like making fun of them. <laughs> yeah. You know how to bag your bitch ass, huh? I flirty. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> sorry. I flirty. <laughs> I am flirty, Molly. <laughs> Uh, Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> sorry for reason, y'all. <laughs> no, like I'm so sorry. Like apology take four. Like no real. Okay, you know you know. Seriously, <laughs> I'm concerned. If you know, you know. When you're old, you're. Old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the way you flirt is you make fun of them. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm out of practice. I think I haven't tried to like flirt with Landon. I don't know, but like I can't do it over text. I like usually. just fart and then I'll like poop with the door open. <laughs> so <laughs> cute. I mean, we're at that point. Um, oh my god, I know it. <laughs> she just keeps <laughs> ripping her hair out and putting it on my floor. They're cleaning them. It's fine. That's so true. Um, what's it called? I don't know. Like, do you know how? I hate to say this because this is gonna sound so basic. Like, do you know? Like, well, we have to be able to make fun of each other. Put <laughs> it on Hinge or like Tinder. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, dating me is like dating a bully. I don't remember what my Hinge like things were, but do you want to know what mine are? Mine were like. Like, I want to download it just to see what I put, but I'm not doing that. Um, it was, like, wait, like the th- top three ways you can get me to fall for you. Is that one of the prompts? Yeah. And it was, like, if you Spider-Man kiss me or, like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine says, I won't shut up about the show I'm currently watching. That's true. That's just so finished real. Parks and Rec now on to 30 Rock. Give me a season or two, and I won't shut the fuck up about it. Um, the weirdest gift I have given or received, frankincense and myrrh. Like, from the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they gave Jesus when he was born. Yeah. And gold as well, but I don't have that on there. Okay. 
Okay. My most irrational feel was fear is filling out hinge prompts. Good one. Got me. Well, so, but I'm married. I put so a lot fine. of prompts on mine. I'm married now, so. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, she got married two days ago. Literally, so. Um, I have to delete that soon, but. Okay. Thanks, Hinge, for my husband. Thank you. But, yeah. Oh, what I was going to say was, like, do you know how in just, like, messing with people, the grossest word ever, tease? Teasing them. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, playing hard to get. No, fuck that shit. Playing hard to get bullshit. First of all, y'all playing hard to want. Yeah. How many men, aka one man, playing hard to get? And I'm like, bitch, you're hard to fucking want. I have to convince myself every morning that I still like you. <laughs> I have to make pros and cons lists to narrow it down whether or not like, I still like you. And truth is, I don't. I so. saw this TikTok of this girl, and she was like, they were like filming a video, and they were like unboxing something, and she goes, this is not one of his friend's addresses. She, like, shows her friend. She's like, I don't know where he is. This is not one of his friend's addresses. Why do you know that? <laughs> she had a note of his addresses. What the fuck? That on is Find crazy. My, on Find My, I have, if I'm at places I frequent, yeah. I put a name on them. Yeah. So, like, I have. You have one here? No, I don't, but I need to. I have Coney, Da Pad, Drac City, all caps. Which y'all know about Drac City? Goski headquarters at Carrie. I'm washing me in my clothes. I'm not sure what the fuck that was about. Livy girls, shout out Livia. My mama's house. And then the dormitory. Okay. Owen has Carrie's um, house on Find My as whore home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. Let's see if he's... Oh, he's not even there, but... That shit is so funny. Who's most likely to have a bad influence friend group? You. That's not necessarily true. It used to be. Okay, real and true, but not <laughs> anymore. Is it me? No. <laughs> okay, then it's nobody. Wait, most of my friends do drugs. <laughs> no, they don't. Who are you no. talking about? No, 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 no. Not, like, real drugs. Like, everything's legal in Ohio now, so it's fine. Well, then my friends are bad, too, because they do drugs as well. But I don't. Me either. I've always been the friend that parents liked. My mom didn't like you. So. Well. I don't. No. She said that we were too loud. Yeah, and she hated us for that night. (laughs) Because we were so funny and loud. And because you choked on the 100 grand bar. Yeah, because I'm literally so obedient. (laughs) (laughs) Yup. What y'all know? That's the Halloween story if I'll tell you. Uh huh. You want to tell them? Okay. I might forget. Picture some- it. Picture of it. Halloween 2013. 13. Fifth grade, right? I think so, yes. Is it fifth grade? Yeah, 2013. Yes. Halloween 2013. Is the camera about to die? It shouldn't be. Oh, it's gonna overheat. Oh, is it because of light? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I have to give it a minute. Is it so? It's still recording though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if it shuts down, we just have to redo it after a minute. Um, okay. It saves the clip though, right? Yeah, it'll save okay. it. It's just gonna. It's just getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That was so ugly. Uh, you look like Shane Dawson. Uh, me, me. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. He always went like this. He did. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And he was always like... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And he was like... Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. yes. <laughs> like he that. was that same shirt on. The red the, one. The red one from, like, all Abercrombie his thumbnails, whatever, yeah. With all the deer on it. I think it's probably the only one that fans. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he got, he's I he's not beating Olympic allegations right now. He's like losing major weight. I need to get on Olympic. <laughs> Me, he's not. <laughs> I need Manjaro all my life. Manjaro, for real. <laughs> hey Owen, hit us up. Literally, but, drop that off. <laughs> 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 no, 
Okay. Reach out to bring it out. That's what I, I've been saying. She, I, I've been telling my friends this. They don't listen. <laughs> I've been saying this. I've been telling my friends this. Um, but what the what the what the vibe was is that we I went to her house for the first oh, time. Oh yeah, sorry, trick, forgot. Treat. Her parents weren't home yet. My dad said, "Okay, then we're going home until our parents get home." Yeah. So my dad drives all the way home. It was like barely a minute and a half <laughs> drive, by the way. Like it was not that far away. But it like was like. <laughs> okay but it was like go home come back 15 fucking minutes later because your dad yeah. gets home or whatever yeah and i text her on skype by the way yes okay my dad told me you can come down cool i was so annoyed i knew you thought my dad was a weirdo for that <laughs> i know that you did <laughs> you're, you're sitting in the car and you're like dad why can't i just why can't i just go there i know i'm like what's the problem like so we go trick or treat i'm i don't remember what i was for halloween that year I think I remember what I was. Who are you? Maybe I'll jog my memory. I might have been Michelangelo the turtle. <laughs> that sounds right to me. <laughs> Wait, that sounds right. I don't know what I was. Because <laughs> in fourth grade, I was a bride. I wore a wedding dress. And she- <laughs> Shepard Lance on her out there was the groom. Nuh-uh. Mm-hmm. Period. Okay. <laughs> I haven't talked to that mofo in years. But I haven't either. I don't remember what I was for fifth grade. In sixth grade, I was a guy on a gorilla. I remember that. I remember seeing that on Facebook. Yeah. But I think I was Michelangelo. <laughs> or I might have been... <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. The Ninja Turtle, if you guys are familiar. Yeah, or I might have been... No, head. I might have been Iron Man, even. I don't remember. I, well, th- I remember it was freezing cold, so we had to wear jackets like to cover. Or it might have been Batman. Girl, I was one. I was definitely a man. You were Batman, <laughs> definitely as a child, like a young, young child. Though. I was Batman when I was like six, mm-hmm. and when I was like eight. Oh no! When I was eight, I was Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Um. Then I was Spider Man a lot, but I think it might have been Michelangelo. I'm trying to think what else I would have been besides that. I don't know if I have pictures. Because in middle school is when I was an Angry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I was a puppet. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, no, in seventh grade, I was a porcelain cracked, like a cracked porcelain doll. Oh, my God. Not cracked out, cracked porcelain doll. And then in eighth grade, I was a puppet. Cracked out is crazy work. And um. then freshman year, I was a, like, bloody scarecrow. Like, I had my mouth sewn up with twine. That's not what I want to see. I don't know what <laughs> that's about. That was scary. Sorry, jump scare. We have to cancel the pot at this point. Oh, man. This one says for friends, Ultimate Chaos Edition, by the way. <laughs> Ultimate Chaos Edition. Ultimate Chaos Edition. <laughs> what do y'all know about who's most likely to? The family fun game that you can test your abilities with all your family members. Oh, where are you at? The Canes? McDonald's. Your fat ass would be. Um, the hometown, y'all. Oh. Well, look at Mary. I'm not going to do her dirty like that on camera, but. Mary, baby. <laughs> Mary. Here's me and my Buckeye shirt. I got Iron Man too. This is at Halloween, by the way. Uh-huh. At the Coney Island Park. Oh. Uh-huh. Is Mary from Ice Age? She's an Eskimo. Why? I don't know. That's what she wanted. Party City. We gotta, we gotta text her. Be like, Mary, what were we doing? I don't remember. Are yours on Facebook? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, but I really was, like, super into, like, SFX makeup. Like, special effects or whatever. And I actually... <laughs> got kicked out of, um... King's Island, and they told me to go out and take my makeup off because they thought that people were going to think that I was a scarer one time. And that's a true story. And I have three witnesses to that story. Not me. So It just said Greg and Crowley. Mr. Crowley. Shout out Mr. Crowley. Love that man. Real. That's so real and true. Um, But... Anyway, trick or treated. Aaliyah choked on a hundred gram bar. Her mom called her obedient. She thought she said obese. It was this whole thing. <laughs> I remember I slept on the couch, and your cat at the time, Chloe, Chloe, <laughs> was all in my business, and I didn't realize I was allergic to cats at that point. 
so I couldn't sleep. And I'm like, what? and your mom like slipped back in at like three in the morning. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. We both slept downstairs on the couch though, didn't we? I think so. So it was that brown couch. Hey now, brown cow. This is the brown couch. It was hey now, brown cow. <laughs> that like curved one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember because <laughs> Chloe was like on top of the thing mm-hmm. and like was like peering over me and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's bad news. I think um, Cole was there with us too. And- he might have been. Hey, what's sex chat? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Who's most likely to fall for someone that's totally off limits? I'm going to go for a quick guess and say it's me. <laughs> Some BS. Some BS. <laughs> and I feel victimized. Who's most likely to go viral <laughs> on social media for all the wrong reasons? So, like, being canceled. <laughs> you. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. We anymore. won't, but we will. Um. So, and what's the one ticket audience, like, July 2017? I just was in a major depressive episode. Okay. Yeah, Do you I know, know what I'm talking about? about? Or that one, it's like, Part 56, who the fuck did I marry? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Chat. Gibu boop. <laughs> yeah, chupaloo. Chupaloo. <laughs> this is so you. Who's most likely to have a mysterious friend that no one's ever met? <laughs> Shout out, Luca. <laughs> Even though you've met Luca. I've met Luca, but for a really long time, Luca was just like, some omnipresent, of my imagination. Yeah, literally. some like omnipresent figure, right? <laughs> literally triple O, like always referring to Luca. And I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm like, who Luca. the fuck is that? And I'm like, oh my god, I talking to Luca, and they said, and everyone's like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, real. But yeah, um, Luca. <laughs> I remember me and Luca met up at the Who's Live Anyway thing, and my mom met them, my sister Hannah met them, um, and then Hannah's partner at the time. Anyway, met them and then, um, what's it called? I met their grandma and grandma. <gasps> that was a formative moment. My mom was like, "Oh my god, that's Luca." I'm like, "I understand. They are my friend." Um, Mary said, "I sent Mary this picture of us as Greg." I don't call me. Don't come <laughs> at my house. Whatever the flip he said. Flip. Okay, she's giving millennial. Dude, so now she'd be saying shit. I'm like, Mary. Um, but- Who's most likely to pull off a family prank? The prank. <laughs> Full of pranks. Family prank? That's got to be you. Um, I never was, like, prankster on my parents. Do you remember those, like, my biggest April Fool's oh Day God. joke? That oh. I just thought of something, like, crazy. That's not a prank. But do you remember those little, like, shorts in between on Disney Channel, like, that instead of commercials? Because Disney Channel never had commercials. Yeah. They just had things that they made. Mm-hmm. Like, mu- uh, like mu- music videos. Music or- videos are like, oh, this is this. Or, like, a mm-hmm. community service announcement. And one of them <laughs> was, like, this is how to stay not sick. And it was, like, why- it's like germs can live on things. like then- And it was, like, the germs on the controller. Do you remember this? The germs kind on of- the controller. And it was like it looked like a sketch almost, and they were like, "So wash your hands to prevent yes. sickness." Yes, <laughs> and it was like, it was like, um, germs can live on things, and, and oh my god, go in your your mouth or eyes oh or whatever. God. Like it kind of like stop motion. Yes, bit, the way it was edited, and it was like, uh, it looked like someone had sketched a controller and put and like it zoomed in on the yes. thing and it had little germs. And then there was the mirror. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember. That. And it was like, so wash your hands to stay away from germs or whatever yeah it was like whoa i know exactly I just what that. you're talking about that was actually crazy the craziest like prank was an april fool's day prank i did on my mom and what i did i think i was in like fourth or fifth grade mm-hmm. i take i took her phone and i taped it to the bottom of the kitchen table okay like i taped it that so she didn't could, know where it was yeah and then we would just like call it a bunch of times Sneaky. <laughs> She was probably so like, who's pranking me? Okay. <laughs> she was probably like, which one of my kiddos is up to no good? How did it go? Where the fuck's my phone? <laughs> Leave me Get your ass <laughs> down here. Get your ass over here. <laughs> Get your ass over here. 
Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Definitely. <laughs> Very sure. <laughs> Who's most likely to cheat with her girlfriend's fiance? <laughs> oh, why? Wait, 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 wait. This is not Chad GPT. We're, like, we're on Pondly now. Uh, neither, because we have different types of men. No. Oh, sure. Oh my god, what is this question? <laughs> you. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> um. Been there, done that. <laughs> Kamala Harris funded. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm so children. sorry. I'm so sorry. The Republicans ate with the ad that's like, Kamala Harris is for they, them. <laughs> Who's for you? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit, y'all fucking ate that up. But like, I'm sorry. Go vote, though. <laughs> Coming up soon. Coming up. Unless you early voted, then period. Then period. Um, who's most likely to get detained for harassing a policeman? Not me. Not me. This is not funny. <laughs> um, <gasps> who's most likely to get a divorce less than a week into her marriage? Not me. Well, not me. It runs deep in your blood. <laughs> it runs deep in your blood. <laughs> so, well, then there's I, a sprinkle, sprinkle in mine. Well, then I guess it would be me. I guess that would be. Have so. you seen? You probably haven't. It's that clip of Greg from. He's like, and if it is to be said, it is so. <laughs> <laughs> and he's at like the court hearing. It's like whatever. What are you stupid? Got? Three minutes over yet. Forty-seven. Ah! We'll do like three um, more, and then we can do our songs of the week. Okay. Who's most reply likely to, to get my husband? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, he's blowing your ass up. As he should be. Oh. Who's most likely to what? What the fuck is this? Who's the most likely to be the first to get deflowered? You. <laughs> You was hard. It was hard. <laughs> oh my god! She was like four or five. <laughs> oh my god! Random. Am I gay? Test? Should we do that? Yes. Give me. Should we do it right now? Yeah, we should. Okay. Is this like? Am I gay? Test. This it's is a test to where you find out if you're gay. Am I gay? Test. She in life. Pack your suitcase. Okay, hang on. Let me do this. Gay test. Buzzfeed. <laughs> okay, this is scaring me. I think I'm gonna get a virus. <laughs> Dude, the Wi Fi is so shit right now. Hang on, let me disconnect. It's because everyone's home. Um. Oh, here we go. And my gay quiz on WikiHow. Okay, are we both taking it yeah, individually? We'll <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Ew, what? I don't know if you're gay. There's a whole spectrum. Start quiz. It's just silent. We're just taking a quiz. Hang on. I always uh, hate these. Like, you know the personality tests they used to take when you were a kid, and they're like, I have. "What do you, would you do at a party? A. Do coke in the bathroom with everybody. <laughs> B. Be a loner loser. Be a loner loser and sit with nobody. <laughs> C. Don't even show up because you have another party to go to. And it's like, well, we all know what answer we're gonna get. Whatever one we pick, like they're so different. Because this one says, how do you feel about queer characters in TV shows and movies? Oh, I've totally watched shows just for the queer ships and storylines. That's true when it comes to Sherlock. I heard about John Locke. I said I need to watch that show. I heard about um, Tom Gregg. I said I need to watch Succession. Yeah. Um, Dr. House and Wilson. I said I need to watch that. I feel like I can kind of identify the queer characters. I notice queer characters, but I don't feel strongly. I like the positive vision, but they don't stand out. <sighs> These are the same fucking ones. I'm just sure because I have. They're like the questions are very similar. I know. (laughs) 
16 questions. Oh my I god. I know. I'm trying to speed through. I'm speed run the gay quiz. That's not what I meant. Fuck. Can you go back? Yeah, yeah you can. All right. So it died in the middle of our gay quiz, so, which was fine because it took forever to load and whatever. And then we took an autism quiz. <laughs> so WikiHow relationships it, because the it prompts you at the top. Uh, you can't see that, but yeah, it says, "Am I a qu- autistic?" Quiz, and we were like, "Well, we would take that too." Well, of course. So in the Am I Gay quiz, my results are inconclusive. No, they are. You're <laughs> probably straight. Period. Mine said the person you're sitting with right now definitely wants to have sex with you. So. <laughs> no, but <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, <laughs> Mine said. Well, cats out of the bag. Take your clothes off. It just turns into. And he fans like the love. Subscribe for the uh, Patreon. Bang. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Okay, for the autism quiz, you can go first again. But her said she was straight too, so. Right? Guess we'll never know. <gasps> oh my god! Okay. Could I be autistic quiz? You don't have many autistic traits. It's unlikely that you're autistic. You're, uh, you're autistic. Mine says, you have quite a few <laughs> autistic traits. It might be worth pursuing a diagnosis. Okay, so... so. That's that. <laughs> so I'm not autistic, so I probably am. You're a divergent. <laughs> Quit playing. Quit playing. Quit playing. Quit playing with me. Okay, are we doing songs of the week? I don't hang out with autists. Whoa. <laughs> I thought you were saying autists. Like an autist. Like artist, but like an no. autist. No, an autist is like somebody who like O D D I S T. No, A U D I S T. What is that? It's like people that um, only believe people are like worthy of being human and if like, they can hear, if they can hear. That's exactly what I meant. Well, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no. agree. I agree completely. I'm an oralist. You can't hear this. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) What's that in sound language, bitch? (laughs) We ain't got none of that closed caption shit on here. None of that shit. None of it. Get the hell out of here with your woke ass. (laughs) Your woke ass shit. (laughs) Deafism was made by the woke ass. Sherry Brown is too liberal for Ohio. Hell yeah, he is. What about incest and rape, Bernie Moreno? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um... I said autist, like A U T I S T S, because I don't like autistic people, is what I meant. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Just kidding, if you're autistic, I love you. Autistic, I get that shit. You're the piece of the I puzzle, fuck with man. your autism swag. You <laughs> seen those shirts? You like, you're, she you're a piece my... of the puzzle, babe. <laughs> I heard that puzzle shit is like so bad. I don't know what it means. <laughs> so, we're gonna maybe look I should look into that. <laughs> Puzzle, autism, that. metaphor. Like, the piece of you is important. <laughs> <laughs> also, the autism puzzle piece symbol represents the complexity and diversity of autism and the unique experience of each individual with autism. Origin, the National Autistic Society, <laughs> NIS, in the UK first used the puzzle piece symbol in 1963. Sucks the thought. Autism Speaks <laughs> later adopted the symbol for their autism awareness campaigns in the United States. No, it's, it's. Their current puzzle piece is more colorful and represents inclusi- inclusi- inclusivity <laughs> and optimism. Optimism. They spelled autism wrong. <laughs> they spelled it wrong? Yeah, they said optimism. I thought it was autism. <laughs> Criticism. However, many autistic people and autism act- advocates dislike the puzzle piece symbol. They argue that the symbol is harmful and stigmatizing, <laughs> and that reinforces negative Sigma. perceptions about autism. <laughs> stigmatizing. Some alternatives, al- alternatives alternatives to the puzzle piece symbol include the rainbow colored symbol. The, no. That's gay. The ri- That's the gay symbol. <laughs> the rainbow colored ribbon. The infinity <laughs> symbol. The butterfly, which symbolizes transformation and growth. What are you transforming into? Representing- autism. 
they're transforming into autism. A second issue for autistic people is the puzzle piece also represents okay, enough. viewing as us Boo, I don't viewing care. us as <laughs> Being as as puzzling or a mystery. <laughs> that's, Y'all got a little that's bit. That's good. That's good. In my po- in my uh, presentation, I had to give an artist statement, and I ended it with like, because the Allen sisters like their focus is about photography, and it, <laughs> my artist statement was like, "We hope you can see the world through our lens." <laughs> <laughs> they ate. That was mine. I came up with. Well, that. you ate. I know. Is it pun? And no one laughs. For our lens. Okay, it says that often terms used in the past referring to autism. For autistic people, this is problematic as we don't wish to be viewed as akin to a puzzle that can't be worked out. I never saw it that way. <laughs> I thought that everyone made up a puzzle. Nothing on that website before said anything about that. Nothing said that about you. About uh, how you don't fit in. How you're uh, together <laughs> They would this know. Is, this is the caption. This is the headline for this article. Autism, no puzzle. Nothing wrong with us. <laughs> That's literally, I promise. That's what it says. Autism, no puzzle. No puzzle. Nothing, Nothing wrong, wrong with us. <laughs> That's the, that should be show. the slogan of our podcast. Oh. Hey, girl. Who is that? A fellow autism? Paula Jessup. Altogether hey autism's former autistic advisor. Is that an Are advisor you- with autism, or she advises people with autism? Or advises people to have it. I, I would advise you to get autism. Yeah. We're getting that's what I'm- so bad. <laughs> I think that's what she was saying. Autism Speaks then went on to use the puzzle piece in very big autism awareness campaigns in America, leading to the puzzle piece <laughs> being adopted as the symbol for autism. But the people for many autistic- But the problem okay, is- we are- <laughs> 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 so over for this conversation. In 2006, as part of Autism Speaks campaign for Autism Awareness, the organization ran a range of advertising on television and created a short film about autism that featured the organization's leader at a time talking about a desire to kill herself and her autistic daughter via driving off the bridge. <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Did I look like Momo or what? Yeah, I used to be so scared of that. Oh my god, there was this one kid we went to school with that printed out like a thousand pictures of Momo on the school printer. Do you remember that? Yeah. What did I just say? That the person <laughs> printed Momo at the computer <laughs> at school. Do you know who it was? No, do you? That makes sense. Checks out, huh? With the pizzas? Also, yeah, I was going to say he also ordered a bunch of pizzas to- Like a hundred pizzas to, to our school. school. And then we lost the sponsorship from their fucking thing because they were so pissed. Because no one paid for the pizzas. Yeah. Okay, Paula Jessup is an autistic woman who advocates for radical acceptance of autism as a okay. type of neurological difference in supporting autistic people through strength-based me- methods. Go off, Paula Jessup. Love you, girl. That broken arm was the best thing that ever happened to you! Don't call me. <laughs> Don't come by my house. We're done. Okay, y'all. Songs of the week. Songs of the week. Songs of the week. Songs Do you know when they would do this? I'm aware. <laughs> Josh Rich would be like, and I was like, ah! and they'd go to like TikTok conventions, and then they'd do that, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, and they would yeah. scream. I, I, I won't let y'all church. forget. I won't let y'all forget. You know that video of James Charles? And they're doing the like. All I can think is the one that Nick showed us. <laughs> the acapella. <laughs> the acapella, like, I like your sketchers. You like me, my Gucci shoes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And they're like going back. Full 180. <laughs> <Baby>. <laughs> He's like twerking on the camera. Yeah, and, the, and the brothers are in the background doing TikTok. The twins? Answers. Yeah, what are their names? The fucking Marcelo and like the, the Hernandez. Brothers? Menendez? Brothers? No, like <laughs> Hernandez. Hernandez. The ones that dance. Hernandez? Maybe. They're like Latina twins. Yeah, yeah. And they, and they were like, like dancing. Yeah. Like, or is it the Lopez brothers? Lopez brothers! <laughs> One of the Latinas. One of the Latina <laughs> brothers. Shout out to the Latina brothers out there. Shout out all y'all. <laughs> she had the, whoa. Whoa. Throw it up. Whoa. Whoa. And then what I was, was like this? this. That's a whoa. I know. Throw it up. Yeah, but whoa. why was it so like? 
I don't know. I was like, oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Renegade. Renegade. Hey, hey, why are you so obsessed with me? I wanna know. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, All right, we're gonna go crazy. Okay, you can go first. We're done with the TikTok dances. We're done with the TikTok dances. Um, my first song as of last night is "That's So True" by Gracie Abrams. That song's so good. Yup, it's like. That one? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, made it out alive. Yeah. Yeah. So good. So good. It's like, it's giving that part of ceilings where, like, people, like, run down the beach or whatever. I've actually never heard that song. It's over. Driving me home. Oh. It kind of comes out. Oh, that, that, that song? Yeah. It's I didn't like that song. It's called Ceilings oh, then by Lizzie are, like, Nicole And then they, like, run. I, yeah. I literally have it reposted on my TikTok. Yeah. Also, I figured this out about myself a few weeks ago. If you ever need to know anything about me and my core beliefs, look at my TikTok reposts. That's and I mean real. that fucking And that's 100%. real and true. And that's real and um, true. If you're ever like, I wonder what kind of person she is. TikTok reposts. I'm telling you right now. They're all public. As embarrassing as you think they are, they're all public. Real. Um... Now, what I was going to say is I have a repost of Harry Burns from When Harry Met Sally running to ha- Sally mm-hmm. at the end of the movie to that song. I don't know. That's that a song. So I have That So True, Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. If you know, you know. Big Fat Liar, Paul Giamatti dances to this song because his name is Marty Wolf in that movie. And when he gets in the pool. Period. Paul Giamatti. I live, I love Paul Giamatti. In that movie I watched with Alvin Molina before and after. Was Paul Giamatti in it? Paul Giamatti was in it for three seconds. He was in the courtroom. Oh. He, it, like, it was like they were showing like the courtroom audience. Mm-hmm. He was just like, and that's it. Uh, I went, is that Paul Giamatti? Looked it up. He is on there, and he's credited. <laughs> okay, and you ate. Um, and then I'm going to go with, actually I have two more. Burn, Burn, Burn by Zach Bryan. Good choice. So good. And I love you. I'm sorry. Live from Vivo by Gracie Abrams. Period. Play on the horn to prove that it haunts me. I love you. I'm sorry. That was the song that we sang for the mic check today. This is true. Um, so I'm gonna go with Fast Car by Luke Holmes. I think I said that before, but for I've been, sure you have. But. I've been on that grind. I don't know what it is about that song. Ooh, I want to play it on girl. guitar so bad. Now I got a ticket, Johnny. The, the part where it's like, my old man's got a problem. He lives in the bottle. That's, that's the way it, it is. Said his body's too old for working. His body's too young to live like it. So my went off and left him. She wanted more than life that he could give. I said, someone's got to take care of him. So I quit school and that's what I did. <laughs> that eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like that that song has been eating for me recently. And then we got um Can't Catch Me Now from the Hunger Games soundtrack. Oh Do you know which one the I'm Olivia Rodrigo one? Yeah. It's so good. Because they announced the next book and the next movie in the works. About Haymitch. About Haymitch. And I've been like Smash Haymitch Abernathy. Yes. Woody Harrison, if you're listening to this, I'm talking to you. Um and then I, I look got, better than this usually, I promise. And then I got Homesick by Noah Khan. Okay. Which is so good. And then this one's a pull out of nowhere. It's a song Opportunity from the motion picture movie Annie that came out in 2014. Black Annie? Yes. <laughs> from, yes, Black Annie movie. And she's like, look at me in this opportunity. <laughs> I only know that me. because it was trending on it TikTok. It was on TikTok. But that song is so good. Have you seen the movie? Have you seen Black Annie movie? I have not. With Jamie <laughs> so Foxx, Daddy Warbucks? No, yeah, I'm not. It's I've so seen good. the original Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> I love you. Tomorrow, you're always a day. <laughs> Literally, away. Annie. Orphan Annie. Orphan Annie. School of hard knocks. I took It's a hard knock. Like, for us. You know that guy on TikTok? You know that guy on TikTok that does, like, the British, like, <laughs> this is what I think a British play would be. Or yeah, British and he's, like, doing the clothes, <laughs> and he's like, ah! 
<laughs> it's hard to work in the <laughs> walking along the cosmos. Like, he's doing it like that. That's what Annie reminds me of. Oh my god, it's you, like that. Do you remember? Okay, this is a poll. <laughs> if you've ever watched public TV, like pro, like public programming, it's usually it was usually a commercial on Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, and it was that heart medication, and it was this like little girl singing tomorrow. <laughs> And it was like slow. Yeah. Was it like slow, like almost reverb? Almost. And it was like the old people, and it was like, because tomorrow, more tomorrows or whatever. Yeah. It's like, tomorrow, tomorrow. I, I love, love you tomorrow. tomorrow. And she ate. Yeah, she did. And it was like, it always made me so sad. And it's like, why are we playing this on Jeopardy? Also, I'm going to actually do a really, a big, a big, 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 big pool because. I used to use my sister Hannah's Hulu shout out and she had ads on it and as she should because whatever, like it's her thing. But the thing about it is there was this one um, song, there's one ad and it had a song that I fucking loved and I was like, what is that fucking song? <laughs> and it was for like Grand Canyon University or something and this is this is the song. I literally added it to one of my playlists when I found out I was like, I love this song. It's called For You by Twin Bandit. Do you know the song? No. But it sounds sweet. Let's not get copyrighted, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea, but literally, (laughs) I gotta look it up. I have a poll as well for my final okay, song. Okay, this. <coughs> okay, what do y'all know about Smule Piano? Do you know Smule Piano? Piano Smule? <laughs> the, freaking, <laughs> the app where you like tap on the. Break this. S N H U TV spot. Break the cycle. <laughs> And this was like an ad? On Hulu, yeah. How did you find this? I just looked up Twin Bandit For You commercial. (laughs) Wait, this is so sad. That's what I'm saying. And then he finally got a good job. Yeah. Fuck (laughs) you. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My pool is from Small Piano app. (laughs) (laughs) It's called... You Lift Me Up by Mikey Wax, which was an original... Mikey Wax? <laughs> Not the name in Which forever. was an original singer that posted his music specifically on Smeal Piano. And it goes like this. <laughs> I remember him, bro. This is what it looks like. You, re- you lift me up. So I can do you remember him? Hold up. Stars. Yeah. This guy. Oh my god, he's married. What the fuck? He has 60,000 monthly listeners. Bro. <laughs> what you know about Mikey Bolts, bro? <laughs> Why am I subscribed? He always did this. <laughs> From King of the Hill. Oh. Okay, I was talking to Lana about this. Okay. It wasn't Wasabi Productions. But when we were growing up, there were who were the other people that made parodies that were really like raunchy and bad? The Key of Awesome with Bart was Baker. Was that who it was? With Bart Baker. Because they did Wedding they, Ball and it, and he and it was a guy dressed up as Miles Harris. Not that one. I'm talking about the one thing parody. Do you know what I'm talking about? I cannot find it for the life of me on the internet. But since Liam Payne passed away, R.I.P. I've been thinking about that music video because every time I listen to one thing, I can, literally can only think of that music video. Like, the parody. And they, like, kill. There's, like, blood or something. <laughs> really kill. I don't know. Maybe Taylor Swift. I feel like they kill somebody. We'll have to watch later. But they also made a blank space music video as well. And like Taylor was like the devil. 
And I was like telling Landon about that. it. I was telling Landon about it, and he had no idea what I was talking about. The key of awesome. Them. I think so. You said blank space. Yeah. And Taylor Swift's a guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's all Bar Baker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because he followed me on Twitter when I was like ten. <laughs> That's kind of concerning. A little bit. Shout out. <laughs> FBI do your thing. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think he even knew I was 10. I think he was just following a bunch of random people. And I was like, me. And he did. Period. Jay Versace used to follow me on Twitter. Mark Thomas used to follow me on Twitter. That's weird. Duh, it's Mark? Yeah. Why? Or by hip like Jacob. Jacob Satorius. Um, also, one of my songs is My Kink is Karma. Period. Six months since April. Period. And I'm doing better. Also, made a gym playlist that I really, really fuck with. And I love the song Haunted by Beyonce, but only the good part. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the time. Or Breaking Dishes by Rihanna. Dishes, breaking, dishes, breaking, dishes. Two comments on my thing. Okay, you guys. I think we're going to be rap spell. Rapping it up. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Okay. One story time before we go. When I was in elementary school, I went up to get breakfast in the morning, and Halloween was the day before, and instead of saying my lunch number, I said trick or treat. <laughs> True story. Your fat ass would. Thinking they were going to give you candy. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's so funny. That's, that's so funny. And I'm like, where's the candy? No, I didn't say that, but I thought I would do that. Also, Greg and Riley are leaving. We're out. We're out. What is it? Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. The fuck we are. Did you see that Kesha changed suit? Feeling what? Like, fuck this city. Or like, feeling oh, like, Diddy. like the city. Yeah. Okay. Do we both just like do some weird with I was the like, mic? I was like, <laughs> okay. We will see you in the next one. See you. See you. We'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye, folks. Bye, constituents. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Shane. Me.